This is the only epilating video you'll ever need to see. This video focuses more on sensitive areas like your armpits, your bikini line and pubic area and teaches how to keep the pain at a bare minimum when epilating. Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, my name is Essie and today we are doing another epilating video. Now unlike the other videos where I just talk about epilating and talk about my experience, today I'm actually going to be showing you all you need to know to be able to epilate those very sensitive areas. Mind you, the advice I'm going to give is helpful for every area, but I'm just specifically talking about very sensitive areas. So the first thing that I would need you to do, the first step is to make sure that you shave beforehand. Shave beforehand, do not epilate first. Don't ever take an epilator straight to anywhere that has lots and lots of hair. What you want to do is either shave or wax a few two or three days before you actually epilate why you want to do that is because you want to reduce the amount of hairs that you actually epilate so it that will help you reduce the pain so you can then start to epilate from you know when you're starting to see just a little stubble so you have less hair to deal with shorter hair actually is harder to break meaning that your epilating is actually going to be more effective so not only is it going to be less painful but it's going to be more effective because long hair will break so what you want to do is wash the area first and by washing i mean you can just take a bath you can take a shower or you can just use a wet towel and some soap and water to clean the area when you're epilating you are taking away hair directly from the follicle you kind of leave your skin a little more sensitive and a little more exposed to infection or bacteria i'm not saying you'll get an infection i'm just saying those tiny holes are now empty where there used to be hair there so what you want to do is just make sure that it's as clean as possible so you don't try to introduce any germs into your body because your skin barrier is kind of compromised so if you're the kind of person who is particularly sensitive to pain you might need to use a numbing spray or a numbing cream either one of them i personally use Gemoline once in a blue moon when i choose to use it but you can use any of them there are so many on the market and most of them are relatively cheap i would actually advise you to use the ones that they use in tattoo parlors because those ones are stronger you might need a stronger um harsher one if you are the more sensitive you are to pain um something else that you can do is you can actually take painkillers so you can take ibuprofen or um, nap naproxene, any strong painkiller about one or two hours beforehand. That way your body has some painkiller already running through you before you do the step. So before you start, you need to have warm water and towel nearby. You can use the warm water on the towel to pat that area during or after your epilating session this will help to kind of numb the pain a little bit now cold water also helps numb the pain but i suggest you use cold water after you have completely completed your epilating session because cold water actually clenches you or tenses your skin up and makes it harder to epilate so i'd say during warm water maybe after you could use cold water or an ice pack but while you're doing it you need warm water to kind of loosen everything up make it easier to epilate it so while you're actually epilating, the directions are very important. You want to start off with the direction of your hair growth and then clean up against the direction of your hair growth. So I would advise you, although you might see a lot of epilation advice that says going against the direction, that is so that you can get as much or as many hairs out as possible. But remember, my video is just about making it, you know, less painful. If you want to, if you have a very high pain tolerance and you don't really care for the pain, you just want to get it off as fast as possible, then you can go against the grain immediately. If you're particularly sensitive to pain, you should definitely go in the direction of your hair growth and then clean up at the opposite direction. Remember that it's okay to take a break. If you want to take a break, that's perfectly fine. You can take a break during the session and come back like 30 minutes later if you want, or you can take a break and then do it maybe every other day. That way you normalize yourself to the pain and it becomes a little less dramatic every time you do it. So my hair actually grows in this direction. But because I have curly hair, you can't really tell, but I know that my hair grows in, you see, 
in this kind of direction it doesn't grow this way it grows more this way but because it's curly it's kind of scattered in every which way so because of that that's the direction i think my hair goes that's the direction i'm going to start from The way my epilator is made, I can't really hold it 90 degrees because it's not straight. It's made in a very ergonomic way. So I can hold it like this. And I, I never have to because this is actually a very uncomfortable way to hold your epilator. This 90 degrees very straight way is actually very uncomfortable. So my epilator is made to be comfortable like enough for you to hold it like this. And because of the the way it moves you see this it just aligns itself with my the shape of whatever it is that i'm trying to epilate and also it just can't be 90 degrees because it's a curved body it's not a straight body So once the session is over, you might want to wipe yourself down. You probably should do that, take a shower or clean yourself up. And then you want to apply your ice pack if that's what you want to do. Remember that you're not supposed to put any harsh chemicals on your skin. So no harsh lotions, none of that when you're just done epilating because your skin is sore and it's fresh. You don't want to do anything that's going to irritate you. I advise you to use products that are hypoallergenic. So you can use, if you're into the natural thing, you can use natural products like grapeseed oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, things that are not very thick. You could use cocoa butter or shea butter, but those are on the thicker side. You don't want to clog up any pores or make yourself more susceptible to breakouts. Then after epilating, what you should really remember to do is exfoliate. Don't do it immediately after you're done. Maybe, uh, I would suggest maybe about 12 to 24 hours afterwards. That's because your body has had time to heal a little bit from the epilating session. If you just epilate and you go straight up with exfoliating, you might do a little more damage than you intend to. So I say, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that at all. Your skin is already pretty sensitive. Just leave it alone. Come back the next day or 12 hours later, at least before you exfoliate that area and then exfoliate, continue to exfoliate every other day just to make sure that you don't have ingrown hairs because nobody wants to have ingrown hairs. I think the most important advice I can give you for epilating in general is to keep at it. Never allow your hair to grow back to its original volume and thickness. After you've crossed that hurdle of making that place as smooth and as clear as possible, you definitely do not want to now allow your hair to grow back to its former glory. So the moment you see hair start, starting um, their regrowth process, I need you to epilate again. I, I'm going to repeat it again so that you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> the moment your hair starts to regrow, epilate it again. Do not allow it to become thick and full because 
it's going to be as painful as possible and then all your work that you've done from the beginning is going to be down the drain so if you're able to get that place as smooth as possible keep at it at least once a week at least once a week more if possible but at least once a week i need you to a place so once the hair starts coming i just tend to see the little stubble just do it immediately it's not going to hurt it's going to be quick and it's just going to be like done and then you don't have to deal with it again because if you allow it to grow to its full glory that's when it becomes a problem at this juncture i'll say bye bye to you all that'll be all for this video i hope i was able to help anybody who needed the help don't forget to like to share to subscribe and to comment all these things are free of charge and they will help my channel which also encourage me to make more videos that could be helpful to you guys thank you for watching and bye bye